To Think or Not to Think, posted on November 10th, 2011. Take a moment to recognize what are the parts and functions of your body that you can control voluntarily. You can control your hands, your legs, the movement of your head, your eyes, your lips, your tongue, etc. Plus, you can control your mind voluntarily for a while through focus, and you can also control your breathing through focused effort for some time. However, a vast part of your body is totally out of your voluntary control. The blood and lymph circulation, nervous system, digestive system, heartbeat, cell generation, deconstruction, temperature balance, etc. If you look deeply, you'll notice that even the parts and functions that you have some voluntary control over are also working on auto mode whenever you let go of making an effort to control them. In a simple sense, your body is on auto mode all the time, driven through a deeper intelligence, except when you make a focused effort at controlling certain parts and functions. Your mind and brain can also be left on auto mode and it will function in a harmony, but most humans try to control their brain through effortful focus, which causes resistance to its natural flow. It's totally unnecessary to make any effort at controlling or forcing your brain and mind. And the only reason we ever do this is out of fear of losing control or fear of letting go into the unknown natural flow. A lot of spiritual teachings refer to this as the fear of unknown that keeps you from letting go of the mind. Let thinking happen. Don't make an effort to think. This may be a completely new perspective for many of you something which you may not have consciously considered before, to just make no effort to think and just let thinking happen as per the energy of the moment. This is a huge part of aligning with your natural expression. As long as you're making an effort to control your mind, you are constantly in resistance to letting go into the flow of the moment. The only reason we make an effort at thinking is because we don't trust that the right understandings, insights, and solutions will come forth if we just allow the mind to be free in its thinking. However, anyone who has let go of their mind, let go of making an effort to think, has experienced that there is a harmonious functioning that comes into place where everything that's needed gets done at the right moment, insights arise at the right time, solutions come through, actions are taken, and everything happens in a flow. No matter what the situation may be, no matter what the challenge you're facing in the moment, just let go of making an effort to think and just allow thinking to happen. Allow actions to come forth. Allow the body to move without any effort at control. You need to have trust in life to be in this state of allowing. If you've never experienced the flow of this state of simple surrender, you may be very skeptical about it and may even wonder if it's safe to be so effortless. But just ask yourself, how would it be if you had to consciously control your breathing to survive? Most of us would be dead within the first 15 minutes. Someone who was really strong and focused might make it to 30 minutes at max through extreme concentration. Thankfully, the body's intelligence takes care of breathing. Similarly, just imagine how would your life be if you had to control every movement of your hands and legs consciously at all times. It would be a totally sluggish and uncoordinated. Thankfully, your body's intelligence takes care of your movements too. You can exercise conscious control on the mind or these body movements for a while, and thus enjoy the feeling and experience of control whenever you want, but it's totally unnecessary and unrequired to do this. And every time you make an effort at control, there is resistance in you to life's natural movement at that moment. That's why you cannot hold control for long before natural movement takes over. So the good news is that you can just let go of your mind and everything will be just fine. In fact, everything will come back into a real harmony on its own. Most of our suffering and misalignment is because of this habit in our human consciousness to keep wanting to control our thoughts or keep forcing the brain to do what it does not want to do. The impact of consciously letting go of the mind. Here are a few definite impacts that would take place in your life when you let go of the mind or let go of thinking, allowing the mind to think on its own through conscious surrender. You will no longer be doing unproductive or unnecessary work. You will only be moved into action when something that's necessary for the moment needs to be done. My estimate is that humans who force their brain into action usually perform close to 60 to 80 percent unnecessary effort, which usually either goes to waste or creates new problems for them instead of solving their problems. You will no longer be able to work at jobs that are not suited to your aptitude. 
To do work that's not suited to the natural aptitude of your brain, you need to make an effortful thinking and force your brain to function in a way that is not natural to its makeup. Any work that gets done this way will never have excellence in it because it comes from a place of struggle. At best, it will bring mediocre results. Not to mention that the huge stress and strain on your brain through effortful thinking could cause tremendous fatigue in your whole being, making you acquire stress-based diseases. You will move into work that feels natural to you, that brings a sense of joy to your being and feels effortless in action. The work you produce will have a lot of quality in it and will be greatly appreciated by people who receive its service. Abundance will naturally flow into your life because of the joy-oriented vibration that becomes dominant in your being. The momentum of negative thinking in your mind will ebb away in intensity because it's no longer getting any fear-based attention. In the space of letting go, there is no focus or contraction of attention on any negative thoughts in the mind, and thus they start fading away in power and influence to finally just ebb away in intensity. Your body will have a lot more energy and vitality every day. Diseases created through the stress of effortful thinking start dissolving and a harmony sets into the body. Your actions will come from a place of inspiration and will always be a step in the direction of the unfolding of your desired realities. You will find yourself becoming disciplined in certain actions without requiring any willpower or determination. When the duration of the action is done with, you will smoothly move into another routine without any friction. Everything feels effortless and harmonious. These are just a few impacts that I've mentioned above to give you a foretaste of how effortless everything becomes when you let go of effortful thinking, allowing thinking to happen on its own. Of course, it requires time to let go of this lifelong habit of trying to force the brain. And one also requires an understanding and trust to surrender this habit, which is basically the point of this post. A lot of old realities that you created through effort and struggle will melt away when you align with this effortless state and a new reality which is rooted in harmony will come into place. One has to be allowing with some initial trust and courage to allow for this transition to happen because society at large is so focused on an effort-based way of living. It's common for the mind to get fearful when some old realities start dissolving when one lets go into this effortless state of being. This is one reason why most people let go only when they reach a dead end through all their strategies and effortful thinking because then there is no other option but to let go. But you don't have to wait till you reach such a desperate situation. You can just let go now and start allowing the harmony of the natural movement of life to take you over. All the pointers eventually are so that you acquire an understanding of life enough to trust this movement of just letting go and becoming aligned with your natural mo movement. Continue to part two of this article, To Think or Not to Think, part two.